in most of our videos we talk about farming uh, let's take a detour today let's not talk about farming let's just start by talking about population in the year 1927 many years ago this entire planet was inhabited by 2 billion people we continued to multiply and we became 4 billion in the year 1974 so 2 in 27 4 in 74 and we again continued to multiply and in the year 2024 we are 8 billion now the amount of land in the planet is limited the resources are limited but the population is continuing to increase so the united states department of agriculture what it says is that if we continue to multiply at the current rate if the population continues to grow at the current rate by the year 2050 the agriculture output will need to increase by 100% to feed the planet okay very much possible but we are not only multiplying we are also spoiling the climate we are also spoiling the environment and we are also ending up using all the resources what united nations says is that at the current rate at which we are spoiling the climate due to the global warming by the year 2050 the agriculture output is actually going to come down by 30% so what we need is a 100% increase by 2050 what is the reality is that we are looking at a 30% decrease by 2050 now how do you bridge the gap it will simply not be possible to keep growing in the open field going into the near future the answer lies in taking farming into protected environments like polyhouses greenhouses or indoor vertical farms having said that it's little complex or let me say it's very complex to run a ca farm unless you understand the entire science of plant and you understand the entire technology you understand multiple parameters you understand how to take care of a life form and provide it with all the things it needs and that's the reason why many ca farms fail but what if a technology existed which made operations of running a ca farm or running the operations of a ca farm as easy as operating a washing machine you want this crop press this button you want that crop press that button yes at city greens we have developed such a technology at city greens is india's leading and most awarded agri tech startup in the ca domain we have received multiple awards both national and international we were the finalists for national startup awards last year we have received 8.6 million in grant awards from four different ministries of government of india looking at what our technologies have developed we have been invited by multiple countries including uae us and uk to test and experiment with our technology in their markets so this is what we have been able to achieve through the research and development we are doing this is a sunrise industry right now there is no possibility of food continuing to be grown without using technology and if you too are convinced about the industry if you too are convinced about the potential of future of controlled environment agriculture and if you would like to set up high technology farms which create much more output and which are much more profitable and which do not face the typical challenges which very low tech ca farms generally face in all the geographies including india then you can reach out to us and we will try to help you to set up a highly profitable controlled environment agriculture farm which is also very easy to run and which is run by technology and not by humans